What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so we're finally in Slateport City, and uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a nice tour of this whole place, battling a few people, maybe finding some new stuff, that kind of stuff. Anywho, here we are, Slateport City. The first place I'm going to be showing you guys right now is this whole area right here, where you can actually buy some cool items, you know, TMs, HMs, not HMs, but TMs. Uh, if you go right here, talk to this guy, he's gonna be talking to you about how Hoenn boasts an abundance of seafood, in particular. The seaweed you get around these parts is fresh and full of life. Why, it looks like it could rear up an attack. That is true, but you, 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 you can't buy stuff from this guy. If you talk to this guy, he will actually just sell you some TMs, and as you can see, there's four different kinds of TMs that you can actually buy. Home Claws, Thunder Wave, Struggle Bug, and Confide, these are some... Uh, good TMs that, you know, we we will eventually be using uh, later on right here. And, uh, let's see. I believe these guys give you powders, right? Oh, you're Grovile. Put in a little bit more energy into your training, and I'll give you something nice. That is the lady that will actually give you a, uh, a ribbon for your efforts with uh, your Pokemon. And uh, this guy right here will actually... Uh, yeah, he will actually sell you the... Uh, the vitamins, the minerals of your Pokemon and all that stuff, tier 2. And, uh, let's see, what does this lady has to sell for us? Oh, the fra the Fragrance Incense. Now, remember, guys, there are certain Pokemon that you can actually evolve with these incense. I believe it, the Fool and the Wave Incense, you can actually evolve e either... or Well, if you have those two items held with a Pokemon and breed them, they will actually, you know, spew out their pre-evolutionary form. Or, you know... The Pokemon baby. I'm talking about Snorlax and uh, Azumarill, or Azurol or whatever. And uh, let's see. If you talk to this guy, the TM Secret Power. Our group, we love TM Secret Power. One of our members will give it to you. Come back and show it, show me when you get it. We'll accept you as a member and sell you good stuff in secrecy. That is cool. Now I just gotta find that guy that you know gives me secret power and all that stuff. Now one thing of importance right here that's gonna be you know, of importance throughout the game right here is this shiny little object right here. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, you need some education. This thing right here is a Mega Stone, an Alakazite, which you can actually use for your Alakazam, and luckily for us, we are able to get an Alakazam here because we can trade. I just showed you in the last episode, I traded for a golden, um, a golden Magikarp, if that's correct, and uh, this lady right here is going to be selling you some kind of a... Yeah, teddy bears and all that stuff. So, that is one thing of importance right there. We got an Alakazite. One of many uh, Mega Stones that you're, you're going to be able to find around here. Now, if you go right here, this is the Pokemon Fan Club. So, let's go right ahead and see if there's anything of importance right here for all of us. Um, let's see. I believe you've talked to this guy. He's like, <clears throat> I am the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. Being the chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one can best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one! In any contest, my victory is a foregone conclusion. Wow, he, he has a lot of hubris on his side. But that would deprive others of their enjoyment. So, now I, while I away my time examining Pokemon of others, it is a marvelous to witness how others have raised Pokemon. The contested, or the contended uh, faces of properly raised Pokemon. The kind of loving gazes of their trainers. My heart is overwhelmed. There is so much happiness. Oh my, excuse me, I seem to have nattered on far too long. Please allow me to examine your Pokemon and see how it's grown. Hmm, I see. Hmm, not bad, but not good either. You, the trainer, must put more effort into raising your Pokemon. For instance, may I suggest that you give it more Pokeblocks? Alright, dick. Whatever. Uh, let's see, she's interviewing that guy. I don't know what this lady has to give us. Uh, she, I don't think she gives us anything. Your Pokemon with love and care become oh okay oh wait it's really friendly towards you gift from the fan club we get ourselves a soothe bell which actually makes your Pokemon a lot more friendly and I think I know the kind of Pokemon that I should be giving it to so let's go right ahead and go downstairs right here now again I'm gonna be saying this in every single episode I'm trying to get the hang of this whole thing right here guys but sometimes this whole uh, well, the, the recording of the, the video. It's going to be laggy at times and all that stuff. Again, I'm getting the hang of... Uh, well, I'm getting, you know, my little mojo, my little workstation and all that stuff. I, I'm getting the hang on how to uh, how to do this correctly. So, I do, do excuse the whole lagginess of this whole game. Sometimes it lags, sometimes it doesn't. I'm doing my best, guys. 
But so far, so good, and everything's at 100% right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, go straight right here. This is where you're actually going to be finding the Name Raider, which uh, we will be going to eventually, you know, for, you know, for getting Pokemon and all that stuff and giving them nicknames and all that stuff. So as you can see right here, Team Magma is here. So oh yeah, they're in they're inside the what was it? The Endless Sea sustains all life. The Oceanic Museum. Yes, they're in the museum right now, just causing trouble. So. We won't be able to do anything right there until we go deliver the parts to Captain Stern or whatever his name is. Yes, Captain Stern. We're going to be going right here to locate that man. And uh, once you enter, you're going to just find him right there, planning some stuff. Hmm. If this goes here, then that goes over there. Where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Ugh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Okay, and here we are. Look at that. We just entered the whole situation. Hmm. You. Oh, sorry. I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up designs for a fairy. Oh, those parts you have. Those are the Devon parts. But, um, this won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably off in the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, but could I ask you to find the captain and give those parts to him? Okay, sure. I guess we're like the hero, I guess this whole adventure right here so let's go right ahead and find Captain Stern I think uh, after getting out of this whole thing right here you'll be able to find Captain Stern in his all in his in his glory in the oceanic uh, museum right here as you can see Team Magma is away and uh, well we're gonna be battling all of them right here and hopefully you know taking care of business and all that stuff so let's go right ahead and see what we can actually find right here and as you can see Everybody's in here, but this lady, she's like, excuse me, please go through the reception. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is $50. Or would you like to enter? Well, of course, I, I, I gotta pay. I has to pay. So, coming in forward right here, somebody's gonna recognize you. Not this guy. They just jumped over the, the whole thing. And let's see, if you talk to this guy, put my knowledge into nefarious deeds, somebody here is gonna recognize you. Hold on. Might be able to make money. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. Maybe this guy. Yes, this guy is going to recognize you. And he's like, hey, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Magma member you dumped before, remember? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. We get ourselves the TM46 Thief. Hey, okay, nice dark type move. You know. Oh, darn it. You so screwed up our plans. I was going to steal something, but... Or to make it up for, but... Just you wait. You'll get yours one day. Oh, wow. I just picked up. Okay, well, that was it with that guy. So now we're just going to be going up here. Not be, We're not going to be battling in the, in the museum area. And, well, there's the map of the Hoenn region. A miniature diorama of the Hoenn region. Is this where... Where is Little Root in, this, in all this? Well, we already know where it's at. But as you can see, this place is home to a whole bunch of uh, dioramas... Seas, um, you know, submarines and all that stuff. Submarine Explorer Zero. I believe that's the su the original submarine that you know you you find in Pokemon uh, Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. And then uh, let's see. I think this the Royal Unova, a model of the Sunset Cruiser, currently being built in the Unova region. So technically, in this storyline right here, the Royal Unova, which we will be getting to in Pokemon Black, Pokemon White too. Yeah, that's that's what it's gonna look like. Scheduled to be complete in X amount of years. The number is too faint to read. So, they still haven't planned it. Now, if you go to this guy right here. Question mark? Yes. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the, the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all the way here. Now, we can prepare for our expedition at last. And, uh, speak of the devil. ha 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 ha. Just a moment. We'll be taking those parts. What, what, what was that? Who are the? Are you people? Oh damn. We are Team Magma. Our boss need or has needs of those parts that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to read this correctly, all right? Our boss has need to of the parts in that case. So relinquish it uh, to us at once. I suck at reading. It doesn't really matter, guys. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna be battling. Another Team Magma Grunt and uh, Passerby Morgana, thank you for the nice if you're watching my channel or something like that. I don't even know. So here we go, Sage of the Halo. 
kind of at an advantage disadvantage right here so we're gonna be switching up our pokemon right here because uh yeah that pokemon is a fire type so let's go to toxic batman he already knows wing attack so hopefully you know these ground type attacks that it could potentially have won't work on me as you can see go with the focus energy so let's go right ahead and use wing attack let's go toxic batman and uh that that right there is a uh, nothing and bam hits us with a pretty hard attack right there so we're gonna be going again with another wing attack hopefully this will actually do it and uh here comes another flame burst and uh crud that takes out toxic batman so that's not the way we want to start it holy crud okay let's go guy of the fierce knight well not so fierce and uh, let's see, it has simple. What is a simple uh, technique right there? Do not know. Let's go with confusion. Here we go, confusion for the win. And there we go, Numel is no more. Numel no more. I could have I used the Numel in this, in this game, but I don't know. And there we go, there goes a Team Rocket Grind. He's just asking, how? Well, you guys kind of suck, you really do. Absurd, I was defeated by a this child. This is quite disastrous. At this rate, I will become the target of the boss's fury. My, you really are incompetent. I suggest you observe while a future ace grunt of Team Magma makes short work of this infant. All right, bring it on. Who are you calling an infant? I got my man hairs. Do you not see the beard on this? I don't think so, they, they don't see the beard. I am a big man child right here. So here we go, going up against their toxic Batman and uh, Sage of the Halo. Yeah, we can we can take this Pokemon right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use that quick attack right here. So let's go. Quick attack, here we go. And uh, here comes that wing attack that actually works on us. So that right there might be a problem, but here we go again. W quick attack for the win. And yes, there it goes, that Zubat. So that's one thing that you guys should know. Zubats are incredibly weak in the beginning, but you know what? Eventually they become strong, fast. Scary fast. And here he comes out with a Numel. So let's go right ahead and uh, well, let's uh, try our luck again with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. So here we go. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Go. And here we got of a Team Galactic. Or no, not Team Galactic, but a Numel. That seems to be their trademark Pokemon. And this guy has the Oblivious technique right here. So let's go. Another confusion. Come on. And uh, that takes a good one. And, uh, oh crud, here we go with the tackle attack. This Pokemon is slow. It is a camel, so it will not beat us right here. So here we go. Confusion attack nearly beats this guy. And here comes that focus energy. Crud baskets. Okay, here we go. Finish him off. Confusion. Oh yeah. So there we go. No more Numel. No more Numel. That kind of sounds fun. And, uh, well, our Pokemon are doing a great job right there. And uh, there goes another Team uh, team, team Magma Grunt right there. So after defeating these two guys, he's like, How could a future Ace Grunt of Team Magma be defeated? What should we do? Well, what should we do now? We must obtain the case at once! Hmm. I would never, or, or I would never have posited that a mere child could prove such an obstacle. And here he comes. I love this theme song, I really do. See, this is such a boss theme song to come to. Kind of like a... What's his face? Darth Vader right here. Now here I was wondering how could be... Who, how you could be held up in, in a simple act of seizing a case? Do I, do I take it that you're being stymed by this child? Hmm. Though you are a child, your eyes tell me your fierce determination. My heart is pounding in my chest. You might have a heart attack. You are kind of old there. Yes, I think I can see why I lo why my lowly grunts could not stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand as the head of the Team Magma gang or organization or whatever you are. A noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity to even greater heights of progress of ev and an evolution. Indeed. And you are one of the young persons who may shape our society's future. Considering that fact, I believe I shall educate you in the ways of the world. The land. Such a stage upon a humanity stands. Or which humanity stands. Wow. Damn. 
guys gotta love my reading. The land exists so we can, uh, we humans might continue onward and upward, stepping into the future. For us to continue growing and evolving, humans required a grand stage upon which we stand. A, la a land upon which we could stride forward, a land we can explore, develop, and exploit. This is the basis of for growth for all of or of all of human endeavors or whatever. That is why we, Team Magma, must increase the landmass of the world. Okay, so what about the water? We could die, you know. We're all made of water. Believe that this is a lead into the future of eternal happiness for humanity, and consequently for all of life. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose my concept is still too difficult for a child to comprehend. Is this the case? At least I had tried to open your mind and I will take my leave for now. I suggest you take care that you never again stand against Team Magma. I will not be so lenient the next time. I implore you to remember that. We are done here. Be gone. Okay. Oh, He's got such command against these gassholes. Whatever. Okay, so let's see. Young man. Ah, oh, Draven, is it? That was quite a, or that was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Ah, uh, yes, I almost forgot about you. Uh, you brought those parts from Devon. There we go. There you go. We handed over the parts, and he has an exclamation point. This is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to sit on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this. Excuse me. And uh, we get no item out of it. Literally no item. Okay, alrighty. So uh, that was it for this part right here. It's a nice, uh, nice part of me reading all incorrectly and all that stuff. Don't worry, guys. I'll get the hang of this just like I get the hang of this whole lagginess part right here. So, Lexi, what is going on in the next episode? Oh yes, we're gonna be destroying everybody, and uh, we're gonna be doing it for the bitches too. That's right. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, guys, in the next adventure. We're going to be going to the next area of this whole land of uh, Hoenn, battling a lot of people, training, evolving Pokemon. Trust me, guys, we're going to be evolving a buttload of Pokemon in this walkthrough. So, stay tuned. I'll be right back for another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. See you guys. <laughs>